Hey everybody, Papa Gord here, and happy May the 4th. So I figure I had better get this video up today, or I figure maybe I'm gonna get kicked out of the club. So, um, with that being said, I'm not gonna do Black Series, uh, I'm not gonna do my thoughts on movies, or any of that stuff. First thing I would like to do is, here, we'll show off my shirt. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Chewbacca and make that what you will so that's in honor of Peter Mayhew so who we lost uh, just the other day so um, very sad to to hear that that uh, that he's gone uh, I did meet him a few times at some conventions super nice guy um, so I guess um, He'd be the third in recent years. Of course, Carrie Fisher, uh, who I did meet um, almost 13 years ago now, um, literally about a week after my son was born, I went to convention and she was there and I had her autograph um, one of her pictures to my son. So that was his very first thing. He was only seven, about seven days old. And his first collectible is a an autograph picture of uh, Carrie Fisher. So he's got that hanging in his bedroom. And Kenny Baker, uh, original R2-D2, before they were able to figure out how to uh, either CG him or um, just make him a giant remote controlled droid. And again, super, super nice guy. Did meet him a couple of times. Um, yeah, and autographs as well. Um, my other autographs are buried, but if you um, check um, Mike, Mike's channel, uh, Mike Case, uh, on YouTube, of course, um, if you check his, his very first PO unboxing, or no, was it on Bots and Shots? Well, I guess, yeah, it was on Bots and Shots, I don't know, but he did an unboxing, and then ran in the bottom of the box, I had sent Mike. A Peter Mayhew autograph and a Kenny Baker autograph so um, I just think it's kind of a little weird now that uh, now that there's like the three and we've lost those three already so which you know it's gonna happen because we're getting older and they were already older than um, most of us anyway so um, so R.I.P. Peter Mayhew um, you were more than just a guy in a big giant furry suit so you will be missed um, all right so with that being said um, I had put up a couple of pictures up on my Instagram feed um, showing off uh, something I had picked up just yesterday and I had one of these before um, probably October November um, and when I got mine unfortunately it had a couple of flawed parts and it didn't stay together so I sent it back and decided I was gonna wait and see if maybe um, one would go on sale again maybe I'd switch it up and pick a different one uh, so I I decided to hold out because there was one that really stood out to me quite a bit and that's the one that I picked up and it's uh, Tomashi Nation's um, movie realization figure so I would assume a, a fair amount of you probably know what that means um, so I got the and I'm gonna butcher this but I'm gonna have to read it as I try to pronounce it uh, Yumiya Shigeru 
Yumiya Shigeru, Stormtrooper. Anyway, so this is, let's just do that, there we go. So the Archer, and uh, got the hologram, so this is legit. Um, I, I sent Mike a, uh, a KO Darth Vader, that, that was a, uh, I think it says uh, S. I A R C R Wars, I think, and I don't believe they had a hologram. So a buddy of mine sent it to me, and I was like, you know what? I know somebody who has a real one, so let me send it out to him, and he can do a comparison. And um, so I think he's he's said in a few live streams and stuff like that or whatever. So he has kind of looked at them, didn't record a review or any of that stuff, which is you know fine, um, but said you could definitely tell the difference between the two. Uh, for sure so um, so yeah so I picked this one up Couple of, shows you right there what accessories he comes with um, open up the box and hopefully don't tip it too far but um, so he's got one two three four five six so you've got six, so I guess three extra sets of hands, um, five arrows, his quiver, and his, his quiver, his bow, and then he's got just a short um, knife uh, with a, um, wow, a sheath. Yeah, so that's what... Uh, that's what it comes with. So I'm going to try to be really careful with him. And here he is in all of his archery goodness. And I just, I'm happy that the other one, because he wasn't the archer, um, I think he had a couple of pistols or something like that. It was still a very cool looking one, but uh, I think it was that one or it was either the drummer. I think it was the drummer because um, I had bought two uh, one for myself and of course um, one kind of as a thank you uh, to Mike um, so anyways uh, so yes yeah, so he's got his you know his more or less like a shield to kind of help block um, uh, you know arrows coming towards him um, he's got really nice weight I'm trying to see if I've got somebody to compare him size-wise. I got Django Fett over here. So you can kind of see he's probably seven, probably seven inch, seven and a half maybe. Um, but comparable, I think the weight's pretty comparable between the two. But uh, he feels really, really good. I would say with mine, one of my extra hands, um, holding hands um, isn't a very firm snap on the uh, on the ball to snap it back into place so other than that that's honestly is really um, my only issue I have with this figure because uh, this is not like one that I'm going to be sitting there going um, Show us your identification. How long have you had these droids? You know, it, it, that's not what he's going to be about. So um, I would almost kind of think of a more um, statue uh, quality. Just with the weather, you know, just very subtle weathering and, you know, the big imperial symbol right dead square in his uh, chest armor there. Um, there's just so much detail on him that uh, I've been looking at this guy like non-stop since I got him and put him together like not put him together but like put all of his pieces on because you know this stuff if you look it's like the arrows you know very thin so you know you need to be super careful with these because these would break and you know really really easily um, you can take the bow out of his hand and it does um, collapse halfway 
and you can set the handle right in the back here so he's got, got this big bow hanging off of his uh, off of the quiver and then you could uh, pull out his uh, little mini sword that he's, that he's rocking um, I'll show the sword I'll put him down sword down oh he's gonna fall it's one thing to have like a lightsaber break on your black series or something like that but I think I'd probably I'd probably cry if one of those broke but I think I'd really cry if one of the, if that if he fell over and broke an arrow or his bow um, so yeah, there it is there again it's got nice weathering on the, the handle um, you know nice detail on the wrap and fits quite nicely in the sheath so you know nothing fancy but uh, again like all of his arm all the armor to cover him up just in case of attack um, you know he's got for having big baggy pants you know he still gets really good range um, you know even his head a lot of movement in his head I just love the the look of his uh, you know he's got kind of his helmet and his like rice uh, rice paper uh, hat on top um, you know, like just yeah he's He's great. I don't know. I don't want to fall down the rabbit hole with these because I would love to get the uh, the Boba Fett um, as well. Um, some of the other troopers, it would be you know really nice to have like the drummer and uh, I think there's a guy with a couple of pistols and just to have a few a few of these guys all kind of lined up together, I think would look absolutely sick. Um, but price tag on these are, uh, you know, not cheap. So um, this most likely will be the only one that I'll ever own. Unless I can find, again, a good deal on another one. And I'm going to be selective. But, um, you know, that's just... a. Um, conversation starter I think myself anyways uh, just you know somebody comes down sees your collection and sees this thing and goes um, when was when were there stormtroopers in uh, like feudal Japan beats me but um, yeah there's probably still detail I probably haven't seen on this guy so it's just really my uh, what my th you know overall thoughts and if you were to ever want to bra branch out into something a little bit different that still would go with your collection uh, Marvel Legends Marvel Legends Marvel um, I've seen like Iron Man Spider-Man I think it might be a Deadpool one uh, Captain America and they've done this style this uh, Japanese um, style with them as well I just didn't think there was as much uh, oomph, like a wow factor with the Marvel looking ones. Uh, Darth Maul's been done. I think the Red Royal Red Guard's been done as well. Vader for sure. Um, like yeah, they are very unique, but they are very, very, very cool. I love this guy. So he's probably, I don't know, one of my favorite pieces now. So, um, so yeah, so Happy May the 4th. Uh, this is, you know, I didn't find anything um, today. There really wasn't a whole lot of time to get out and look. Um, toy show tomorrow, but uh, I don't know if we're going to make it up to it. It's not a huge one. And again, it's that whole thing because it's fairly local, same vendors. So, um, so yeah, so that's my uh, kind of my thoughts on the uh, Tamashi Nation's uh, Star Wars. Um, Stormtrooper Archer, or uh, you, uh, I'm not even gonna. I'm just I yeah. I'm gonna just butcher it. So you saw it in the box. I'll pull it back up real quick again. There you go, right there. That's what he is. 
So lots of different poses. Um, I love the one hand that's got it split. So you can, he's actually holding the arrow. I just think that's really cool. Just small little details like that that are, just make this thing awesome. So yeah, so that's it. So I don't know, let me know down in the comments. Do you guys go out, was it like free comic book? I think some place are doing free comic book day again today as well. Did you get any books? Uh, did you add a Star Wars purchase to your collection today? Um, do you feel that May the 4th has gotten kind of way too uh, mainstreamed? Um, Cause it was something really kind of I don't know, uh, more secret geeky talk when you could go around and go, hey, may the fourth be with you or, you know, whatever. But now everybody says it. And I think it's kind of, it's great that we don't have to worry about being picked on or laughed at or whatever. Because I think us as collectors and, and lovers of geekness and all that stuff, I think we, I think probably outnumber the normies. I don't think there's too many of us that are still kind of hanging out in the closet going I wonder if it's safe enough for me to come out and say I like Star Wars so um, yeah so that's uh, that's him so uh, yeah let me know any purchases any whatever uh, did you go looking what did you go looking for but you weren't able to find but uh, let me know down in the comments and like usual comment like share subscribe all that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo, um, you know, if you got the time, give us a like. Uh, again, tell your friends um, about the channel. Maybe we can get a few more subscriptions. Uh, I want to get another giveaway going very soon, so I'll give you some details about that coming up. And um, I think that's it. I think that'll do it. So again, guys, I'll post a couple of links up in the uh, corners for some other videos from the channel. And I think that's going to do it. So um, again, may the fourth be with all of you, eh?